Good morning, year one. I hope you're all well and hope that you've all had a restful weekend. So let's start by writing the short date, which is the 8th of June 2020. And learning intention is to be able to count forwards to 100. So you can pause the video and write that down now. Okay, so Timmy the turtle wants to share something with us. Let's have a look and see what it is. Is this a new topic? Yes, you're right, Timmy. It is a new topic because we finished the topic of position and direction, and now we're on the topic of place value to 100. Well done for noticing that. So, year one, can you count to 100? Yes or no? Right, so here is 100 square, which will help you to count to 100. You can also watch Jack Hartman's fun video on keeping fit while counting to 100 and the link is down below. Okay, so let's have a look at this number um, grid, this 100 square grid. Can you count to 100 to find the missing numbers? So you can pause the video and either tell your adult or you can write the answers down if you wish to. Okay, so here are the answers. Well done if you got all of those correct. So can you explain how you know what the missing numbers are? Well, you should have been able to tell by looking at the number before. So for example, five before six and the number after. So seven is after six. But you should also be able to spot a pattern in each column if you have a look closely. So for example, all the numbers ending in this first column, they all end in the number one. Can you see? All the numbers in this column end in one. And they also go up by one each time. So the number on the left the tens number, that goes up by one each time. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Have a look and see if you can spot any other patterns in this hundred square. Oh no, so the hundred square has broken apart. Your first activity is to get this from the Grange website and you can cut and stick these parts back together to make a hundred square. So if you can see, they're all broken apart. So you have to find all the pieces and put them back together. And you can take a photo of this if you've done it to send it to the year one email address. Okay, well done, you're doing really well. So year one, how many cubes are there all together here, how many cubes can you see? Okay, so let's see how many there are in one of these first. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we know that one of these blocks is 10 cubes. And all of these have the same number of cubes. So have you worked out how many cubes there are all together? Okay, let's see. So we have 10, count with me, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So how many cubes are there? There are 60 cubes all together. Well done. Can you represent the cubes using 10 frames and counters? Okay, this is what it should look like. So we have one tens frame, two, three, four, five, and six, and all of the squares are filled up with counters. So we have 60 all together. Let's do another one. 
How many monkeys are there all together? Okay, let's see if you got that correct. So 10, 20, 30 and 40. 40 monkeys all together. Can you represent the monkeys using 10 frames and counters? So here we have four tens frames and they're all filled up with counters. So 10, 20, 30 and 40. There are 40 all together. Well done. Okay, next, let's have a look at this 100 square grid. And we have to count forwards from these numbers here to these numbers. So for example, the first one, we have to count from the number 70 to the number 84. So quickly try and point to the number 70. Who's going to find it first? Oh, there it is. Well done. There's 70. And now can you find the number 84? Well done. There's the number 84. So let's count together from 70 to 84. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Did any of you manage to find out how many numbers there are in between 70 and 84? Well done, there are 14. There's 14 in between 70 to 84. Now can you pause the video and complete um, the rest of these here? So start, find the first number and then count out loud to the next number. Okay, well done. Your next activity is to find what number comes between, for example, 52 and 54. So who can find 52? Where is it on the grid? Well done, there it is. And where's 54? Excellent, well done. So then what number comes between 52 and 54? Well done, it's 53. So can you pause the video and do the rest for all of these? Excellent. Okay, your next task is to represent these numbers using tens frames. So go onto the Grange website and find the sheet and you can print it. And you have to look at these numbers. So 24, 46, 50 and 11. And you have to show me what that number will look like on these tens frames. For example, to uh, represent the number 33, I've got 10, 20, 30. Am I right or am I wrong? Yep, I'm wrong. What do I need to do? What do I need to add? Excellent. I need to add three more to make 33. Right now I've only got 30. So then let's go ahead and add three more. So 31, 32, 33. Excellent. If you're in Mrs. Coca or Miss Thurlow's phonics groups, you have to download this sheet here and you're going to be doing the same thing, representing these numbers 10, 20 and 30. Um, you, you can use counters or you can just colour it in because it is quite small when you print it out. So you can just colour in the circles to represent counters. OK, that's it for today, year one. Well done, you've worked really, really hard. Please don't forget to send in your work to the year one email address. Bye.